everyone. I have a fun project that I want to share with you and an idea as well. And then also um, I want to share with you this wonderful gift that I received from Amador. Thank you again so much Amador for this wonderful surprise. I'll put the link to his channel down below. He's amazing. Anything that he creates with Magnolia Tilda is just so beautiful. I love all his projects and he's really fun to watch. He's so funny and he, every time I watch his videos I just crack up. So thank you again so much. Um, he sent me this wonderful stamp set by Tim Holtz and many of you know how much I love coffee. So this is a really fun stamp set. And then also this as well and I love anything to do with sewing especially dress forms. So thank you so much. And then this wonderful die. It's it's one of Tim Holtz's new dies, um, Butterfly Duo. It also comes with the coordinating embossing folder. And I already made a project. I thought I'd make a fun Father's Day card. So this is what I created. I basically stamped the iced coffee um, stamp onto it's the same paper, and then I just cut this out, and then I just stamped it. Thanks, Dad. It's an old. Studio G stamp that I had, and then I add um, some of this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. You can use glossy accent as well, and then I just use my Copic markers to color um, the iced coffee and then the straw. Just a really fun card, and I could put a gift card in here as well. So thank you so much. Again, this was really fun um, to make. So thank you so much. Now I've been collecting, well I've had several of Stephanie um, Bernard's card dies and I shared in my prior video um, this one, the Step Up card, um, but I've had shared a project before using this one. And then um, I just recently got this one. And this one is the Re Regal Stand-Ups card. And then th this one is the Flip It. So she has different kinds. She has the Flip It's, the Stand-Ups, and then the Step-Ups. Okay. So with this one, she had shared a video on her YouTube channel. And I'll put her link to her channel down below how to create a gatefold card using this die and I thought it was really cool so of course I had to go get the die and I got it at Michael's and then this is what I made so I used a I used one of the dies to create the belly band and then this bow is just from this old um, it's an older Sizzix die and then um, I had a pearl and then you can see when you open it up, it's a gatefold card. I thought it was really cool. And you get a ton of dies with this um, die set. And it also comes with the sentiment high. And um, you also get, let's see, you get the word love. And I think, let me see. You get you, party love and happy and birthday and then hi. So it comes with a lot of sentiments and um, all I did with this piece right here is I just uh, for the belly band I just took a long maybe it's about one and a half by 12 inch strip and I folded it in half and then I placed the folded edge right before the cutting part of the uh, die and then it creates this belly band and then you could use it to close the card and these are just fun dies I love her dies because you know I've been watching a lot of her videos and I really love how she creates these dies so you can get your bang for your buck as she says and and she just um, she's just really fun to watch and I just uh, love her ideas and stuff. So that's what I made. And then she also did a video using her Flip It cards. 
so I just made this one a little quick here. But she created it to where you can make an additional card inside, which was really cool because normally it would just only have this part right here. It would only be like this. But she created an extension so it hasn't you have some extra space to write something, which I thought was really cool. And she also had mentioned if you add some adhesive on the side, it can create it into a pocket and maybe put some money in there. And then you could write your sentiment here. So really cool. I like that. And um, this was the first one I tried for the gatefold card. That was really cool. So that's what I made today. And then I also want to share with you, I have this die right here. I've had it for a while. It's one of um, Karen Berniston's Biggs dies. It's a place card in silverware. And I wanted to create my own silverware with some wood. So I buy these wood sheets. You can get them at Michael's. It's in a section where they have the unfinished wood and those dowels. And then also you can get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby, at least in the Hobby Lobby I go to, it's by the jewelry section. And you can buy these sheets of these really thin wood. This one is called um, bass wood and they have different kinds that you can choose from. This one is 1 16th by 3 by 24 inches so it's pretty long but you can buy the really wide ones at Hobby Lobby um, which is really great and they're really inexpensive. So these are some little wooden spoon and forks that I made. And I thought they came out super cute. Um, you can stamp on them. You can stain them. Lots of different things that you could do with these. Um, this is the one I put in my picture. I just wrapped a little doily around it and add a tilde die cut. And they're just really fun to make. You can also punch a hole using your crocodile and hang it onto a favor box. That would be cute as well. So that's my share today. Thanks again, everyone, so much for watching. And thank you again, Amador, for the wonderful gift. Uh, see you soon. Bye.